I've been a Cyan member now for almost 40 years. I cannot think of a single year in all that time where Cyan as an organization didn't impact me in my research, in my collaborations, in my understanding of the field. It's been a steadfast thing through my entire career. I joined when I was still a graduate student 32 years ago. It was, to me, a source of identity. I later realized it was a source of connectivity. Uh, and there are really very few applied mathematicians and they're spread in different departments. But really what I was craving at that time was, you know, what does an applied mathematician do? And Siam helped to define that for me. In mid-career, it's really a source of professional development, getting involved with conferences, with journals, uh, editing books or proceedings, organizing meetings, and uh, then sort of later in your career, it's an outlet for a very fulfilling service. So it's a society that uh, provides outlets for really career development throughout one's uh, life. Being a student, you get to come to the meetings, you get access to the journals, but also you get to meet the people that, that you read about and the big names and also it is a good way to network and get involved and learn professional development, learn how to give a talk. It's like little intangibles that you learn at a conference that you wouldn't learn just being a student at your institution. When I was a grad student I attended my very first SIAM meeting which was the I believe it was the November 1983 SIAM Conference on Parallel Processing. I went there in search of my first job and was able to meet all six of the uh, people that I was interested possibly in working with. We get a chance to network with especially the senior professors and senior professionals in our field because this really um, helps us build an idea about what our career should be headed towards and helps us build these uh, relationships with people that could last a long time. The place I go to look for my postdocs, new hires, were at SIAM meetings. We'd send out people, go to these talks. We invited the people from the best talks to visit, and those were the people that we hired. I'm a big fan of math societies. I think it's really important that the community as a whole has a way of expressing their preferences, their dislikes, their resentments, their enthusiasms, and math societies are a way to do that. It's, it's always helping me solve problems in the sense that I get to talk to people. If I'm stuck on something, I can bounce ideas off of other people here at meetings. I think it's extremely valuable. Through my affiliation with SIAM, I have developed uh, really a, a worldwide network of contacts, collaborators, and colleagues. And all of those things have played a role and a factor in, in the development of my career within my own company. But one of the problems I've worked on where Siam played a major role was in the early uh, days of the AIDS epidemic in the 1980s. And Siam was the organization that brought together the mathematicians, the statisticians, the public health workers, and the social scientists, the mathematical social scientists, that came together uh, and we worked as a team to understand why AIDS was so different than any other epidemic we'd ever seen before. And without SIAM and the ability for this interdisciplinary team to get together and work on this problem, I'm not sure we'd even know the answer today. Just being able to know who belongs to SIAM allows you to you know, network with them and um, to get some insight. And also becoming a member of SIAM, you can contribute to policy changes and to make an impact in the uh, mathematical community. One of the key things on which we're measured and assessed is something called sphere of influence and my affiliation with SIAM has helped me to score points at the highest level of that particular metric for measuring the success of my career and my impact on the company. SIAM is a terrific organization. It's a combination of great people with great motivations. Almost nobody is in SIAM for self-aggrandizement, nobody's in SIAM for the money, and it's really a grassroots organization of people who care about mathematics and its applications in the world. It's a great organization. It's, uh, it provides a lot of services, it's relatively inexpensive, you get to meet people from all around the world. You know, you come to the annual SIAM conference, you see people you have known for 40 years, and you need meet new people who are just coming into the field. So it's a great platform, and uh, I would really encourage people to join.